Welcome everyone to FPL Shorts, the new series from Voices of the Devils where we run you through who we believe could be the best picks for every game week. My name is Roshan Sarvanan, I'll be leading you through everything from premium to penny pinching. Let's get started with game week one. Let's get started with the forwards, the gold machines, and we lead with none other than Harry Kane. He's come off the season of his life winning the golden boot and the playmaker award for the most assists in the league. And even with managerial instability towards the end of the season, you could say it was the season of his life. So it's no surprise he's the most premium option here, joined with Mohamed Salah at 12.5 million pounds. He's already proving popular despite not having a real pre-season, with just over a quarter of FPL teams with Harry Kane in there. Perhaps the reasoning is due to his fixture list. It remains superb regardless of the team he plays for, whether it could be his present team Tottenham or his highly rumoured destination of Manchester City. Looking just a little bit cheaper than Harry Kane, how about Kelechi Iheanacho for Leicester City, priced at just £7.5 million this season? Maybe a bit unfair to him being £3 million lower than the main man Jamie Vardy, because he claimed clutch in the second half of the season. But he's in a price bracket with a great deal of competition, however he could be a great long term forward if he's rotated with the right players. Of course Pat Sindaka, just half a million cheaper, may pose a threat to the main man Jamie Vardy himself. Introducing competition into that £7.5 million price bracket, how about Ollie Watkins from Aston Villa? He impressed many in his debut season after signing from Brentford and amassed the fourth highest points of any forward last season. He is already the second highest forward pick and could benefit hugely from these first three fixtures after Villa's reinvestment into the attack. However, be wary of new signing Danny Ings, priced at just half a million greater, who could force Ollie Watkins out wide or maybe even forge a good partnership with him. Or how about West Ham striker Mikhail Antonio? He's coming off a second successive season where he scored 10 goals in the league in a Hammers team that exceeded expectations. His physicality and target man capabilities make him a great choice for rotation, however he is slightly injury prone and added European scheduling could knock him off course as he is the only senior recognised forward in the team. So do tread carefully with this one. Now to introduce the most exciting option into this list, Brentford's Ivan Tony. He's been taking England by storm recently, first with Peterborough and now with Brentford. His promotion winning 31 goals breaking the all-time record in the second division. He is already the most popular forward pick with nearly 30% selecting him despite being the most expensive promoted asset at 6.5 million pounds. Clearly his reputation precedes him. He could take advantage of an early lenient schedule compared to the other promoted teams and he's also bank on penalties as well. So that wraps up the first episode of FPL Shorts for the 21-22 season. Let us know what you think of our picks in the comments. Do like and share if you like the content. Please follow us for more and best of luck to everyone for the upcoming FPL season. Roshan Sarovanen signing off from Voices of the Devils. Take care.